What's up everybody? Mark with Ecom Warriors. Welcome to a new video. Guys, today we're going to be continuing our last episode. Um, but before we begin, guys, I had a question uh, from one of my uh, subscribers. He said that he had a clothing company. He wanted to learn a little bit more about designing uh, you know, a Shopify store with a clothing company. Right now, I'm currently designing a Shopify store selling vehicle wraps. So like a chrome wrap, you know, things like that. So if you're, if you're familiar with what we're doing with the actual... Um, uh, series right now we're doing uh, vehicle different wraps you know like uh, Lamborghini wraps you know things like that and you guys will see here in just a second um, but if you own a clothing store guys check out my uh, let's build it together Shopify series um, this was for uh, Jason I know you answer uh, asked me in the comments you know how can I uh, build a store for a clothing store um the one interactive series aka the let's build a shopify store together series um how many episodes eight episode series um it, it's overall a very very good series for the average beginner getting into uh design for a clothing store so i recommend you watch that series all right so let's get into the video so clearly we're selling vehicle wraps and the last time where we left off was we were continuing building the home page and we we're exploring the different uh banners so let's just go ahead and continue so uh i think where we left off was banner version 6 or banner version 5 we we're actually talking about banner version 5 um all the banners we've talked about we've talked about the different blog sections so blogging is very uh it's needed for business, um, in my opinion, for various different reasons. My version uh, that I enjoy the most is blog version one over blog version two. There's this like green film uh, essentially around blog version two. Now you can edit this this film color, like you can make it white if you want it to, like you know this little green thing. You can make it white if you want to. There's different ways to set it up. I personally like blog version one. It's very simple, but for this uh, tutorial, we'll be using blog version two, um, but I will be getting back to it a little bit later. So I'm going to hide it right now. And guys, if you ever want to hide a part of your Shopify store, you have this little eyeball. You can choose to make it um, visible and here you make it invisible. So we're going to hide it for now. Let's just take a look here. We have brand version one, and I've spoke about what brand is, but it's these bunch of icons. Right now, they're vertical. Once you just select and save, it will reload itself to be horizontal. Okay, so always when you're editing your theme, make sure everything is horizontal. Everything looks good, um, and and you can see here it's loading, and now you can see it's horizontal. And once again, if you need some space between the footer and the margin on the top. You just add some spacing so like let's say 60 pixels right you just add 60 here and you'll see a difference now in um, in between the uh, the banner uh, block the the brand block and the footer so you'll see how it will look when it's horizontal see there's a difference now um, so with this is like I said here you can add different logos to different brands that you've been featured on. Um, you can add different benefits of your store. So, for example, in the clothing industry, and I used this la example last, is you might want to have an icon, for example, explaining the benefits of your clothing. So, one might be, you know, stretchable fabric. One might be long-lasting. One might be, um, you know, refund guarantee. One might be free shipping. You know, all these different benefits to a brand. You can add as many as you want here. Okay, for this business, we're actually not going to be using that. I think it's just going to um, really just I don't think it will go well with with our design. Now, it could if I if I be a little creative, but I'm going to leave that creativity for another episode at another time. Okay, now let's take a look at the collection subs. So I've talked about what the collection subs were. It's just a place where you can feature your collections for your brand, for your business. Um and they look like this. So the first thing you want to do is when you select a collection sub, it's going to look like this where it's all toppled on top of each other. Make sure you toggle here this little setting that shows the amount uh, per row. So I could select here three collections per row and it will look something like this or four collections per row. You can choose whether it will show uh, collection info, so the actual title. And the reason why this toggle is beneficial or not is if you want to choose to put the text in the middle of the image, right? I can also salute, select what kind of collection. So, for example, if I want my chameleon wraps, you know, it will show. Um, I can choose if I want the text 
uh, like to disappear for that. Um, and, and this is just an example, right? And so we could see the different styles of collections. So we just selected collection one. We have collection uh, V2 here, or collection version one. We can also select chameleon wrap, and we can also select, you know, uh, the different you know view how how to actually view them and so there's a different different uh, settings different features uh, for each collection so just just be aware that you know to feature a collection you can use this this little feature okay um, let me get rid of these collection subs here we won't be using it right now at least uh, collection subs are all pretty similar, so you can look through those on your own time. Here we have Countdown V1. So basically what Countdown V1 is, this is a place where you can add a countdown timer. If you saw my other episodes, you know how this looks. But you can place a background image, right? You can, um, for the Countdown V1, now obviously you want it to look a little bit better than this. It has to match your text. It has to match all this kind of stuff. Um, something that you might want to do for your image is you might want to add an actual image to a product so in this case if you were selling this product or if you were selling this product right you would put it here then you would edit the text so you could see here the text says 3490 3390 uh, you might want to go ahead and edit that actual text um, you can add an image bottom here so this is just you know I don't recommend this by the way um, essentially when you have this little shop button um, you can add an image bottom. It does not look attractive in my opinion, but some people like to do it. Um, but what, what this is, is you can add text here, different information. Uh, you have a shop now button. And more importantly, you have your little uh, countdown timer banner. So I can change this to 2021, right? And you'll see a bunch of boxes with the countdown timer banner. You can actually probably see it a little bit better without this image. Um, and we could just toggle here the different information uh, that we see. And let's just hit save. And this is the settings for the years, uh, times, date, etc. Show where the countdown is going to be placed. And as this loads, you'll see it will pop up right now. So you could see how that how that looks right there. If I want to add the background, I can absolutely do that if, if that's what I really want to do. So there it is. Um, I can add any background image. Like I said, you have to kind of figure out what image works best for your business. Um, every image is going to look different. This is not a design course, so I'm not going to go too deep into it. Um, but you want to be smart with how you do this, and you can utilize this very, very well to see extreme, extremely good results. I used this on Black Friday, and uh, I checked on Hotjar this was one of the most populated buttons that were ever clicked on the website on Black Friday. So that's something you want to be aware of also. So the countdown timer, if you use it the right way, um, you can see tremendous results. Uh, to learn how to use it the right way, go to my YouTube channel and view yesterday's episode. So I talked about it a little bit yesterday, but just view the other episodes within the series, okay? Um, we have here a flash sale. So a flash sale section is just a place to show, you know, what collection is essentially on sale, right? And we could show different things like that. So if I wanted to select chameleon wraps on the flash sale and it will kind of focus different products, um, we can limit the amount of products we want to show. So if I want to show 11 products, I could do that. Uh, if I want to show just five products, I could do that. Let me just go ahead and save our progress here and just kind of show you how it looks. We can choose also the background color. So if I wanted the background color to be yellow or, or, or blue or whatever. Um, for this, you kind of want it, you know, you're going to want to have your products look a little decent. And by the way, um, for the, uh, the reason why the images were so big and then they became smaller, so I, I had to save my progress. Um, when you save, everything will be formatted correctly. Okay, that's just just be aware of that, guys. Okay, um, so this is no more than just a place to add your product collection. That's really really it. And you can add as many products as you like. Um, you can change different. Uh, you know, I mean, you could just change so many different things. So this is a product with this is a collection with four products. And so if I just hit save here and allow it to reload itself, it will show you what the theme is capable of. Now, guys, to be very, very clear, there are reasons why you be used this theme. 
Okay, and one of the reasons is that it, it you know single handedly allows us to convert at a higher level than any other theme out there. Um, and there are reasons why that is. One of the reasons is the the product page, the way it's compiled, the way it's designed, uh, the way the amount of settings we can add to our website, the, the way that it's so, um, you know, you can add your own creative touch to it, um, all these different features. So you guys are familiar with what Stock Limited really is, um, or that's the name of my collection, but uh, let's go back here. Um, it was the flash sale section. Uh, here we have Gallery Grid. So Gallery Grid is, is a little um, interesting. It's you can add a gallery of your products. I recommend everybody, everybody um, in the clothing niche to be using this uh, since, you know, clothing was a topic of discussion in the in the beginning of the video. Um, you know, I use this within the One Active series, okay? If you looked at the One Active series, just hit Playlists, Let's Build It Together series, okay? I believe I did use it within the One Active series. Um, you, you guys should should definitely take a look at this series. I, I don't know exactly where it is, but I know we did use it. So take a look at the series. Uh, we did use it. However, um, you can add images to your to your little gallery. Now, in order for the gallery to work properly, all the images have to be the same size. So they don't necessarily have to be 960 by 960, but they all have to be the exact same size. So if you want to keep them 400 by 400 or 300 by 200, they all have to be the same size because what you're going to see is a situation like this where it's a different sizing, which is not going to look attractive um, for your business, okay? Um, so, for example, if I wanted to be successful with the gallery, I would want my images to be of similar, um, you know, similar stature. They got to make sense. It has to look good. It has to look coherent. If you just add any random images, you're not going to convert. You're not going to do well. Um, and design is a huge part of your success uh, with Shopify. Um, and people, people, uh, some people underestimate it and, they, and, you know, you're simply missing out if you're underestimating. Okay. So this is a gallery grid. Um, you can zoom in on an image. You can kind of view the image. Um, if you really want to see a gallery grid in action, I recommend checking out my, um, series about the Alphalete remake. So let me go ahead and check here. Uh, the Alphalete remake. It's a, I believe this is the series here. Yeah, so you could see here I was downloading photos from the Alphalete website, making sure they're all the same size, and then I was adding them to a gallery grid. You could see here, so it's it's a it was a pre-built website that that I created um, or recreated rather into a better looking website. So you could see uh, we did a lot of work on that. So definitely check that out with the gallery grid. Okay, um, let's go ahead and continue past gallery grid. We have uh, Instagram V1, Instagram V2. So Instagram V1 is going, or one of these, I, I can't remember which one, but one of these Instagram accounts will look like this. It will have a setup where you have a large image and then three small, six smaller ones, um, which is one of the setups for the Instagram version, either one or two, I can't remember. And then the other one will look similar to the gallery grid, the way we have up here, but it will be full width. Okay, so that's the difference. Also, whenever you hover your mouse, it will show um, shop now with a little shop icon. Okay, here's the about us. So you can ha add a whole about us section on the website, um, on the Shopify website, rather with the, uh, the wolf theme. And we are using the wolf of Shopify theme. Um, so I'll leave the link in the description box with my discount code down below. Um, with that being said, the About Us is a place you can add, you know, your Instagram to the About Us. You can add a background breadcrumb. You can add content. So you can add Service V1, right? So this is considered Service V1. You can add Introduce, right? And these are just different places where you can introduce yourself. So let me just show you kind of how this works. And I'll just set it up a little bit in front of you guys. So this is, it starts right here with this breadcrumb, right? And so I would select a breadcrumb wallpaper, so we could set it up like this, right? Maybe this one looks a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe that maybe that looks good. Um, we can set up a service box image. So this is optional, but you know, it's 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 really optional. Um, I would set this up as like some kind of blank wallpaper. So, so nothing with like 
images like this, unless it's like blurred out, and that would look really good, and it would look dark to offset the white color text. Um, reasons to shop with us. This is once again just another you know place where you can add more more text. So service V one again, and you would want to add three of these. It wouldn't make sense to add two or one, so you do want to add three. So it'd be three different reasons here. Um, and you would go in and actually edit them. So like service V1, edit the text, all right? Free shipping, free returns. Um, you know, service V2, maybe it's 100% uh, uh, refund guarantee, you know, something like that. And it doesn't have to be a refund guarantee. Um, obviously, every business is different. Whatever your reasons to shop with you are, you want to include those. And, and part of that is digging deep, thinking about what is so good about your business. What makes your business so well or so nice that people would take the time out of their day to purchase from your specific products. Okay? So that, that all that's very important. The introduction feature here is, is right here, this whole big white section. So I can add some text if I wanted to, right? And this is just like, like I said, countless text. If you want to have a break in the text, so you want to skip a line, you just put uh, those two then greater signs with a BR in between. And then just write some more text. So you could see it created two lines. Um, so there's a lot of stuff you could do. You could add emojis. For example, let me go to emoji. Let me just search uh, emoji here. I don't even know what this is, but let me just search emoji. And let me go on here. And like, let's say I wanted to add emojis to the About Us section. And so if I can copy and paste this, let's see. Let's copy and paste it here. And I can add it here. And then maybe I would want to add a break. All right. And I might want to add another emoji. So you see how that works there. Uh, so there's different things that you could do. You can add an image, like an About Us image. Maybe if you have like a certain team, you'd want to show the team here. Um, I have so many different ways that you could use this. And I think I'm actually going to create a few more stores showing how to use this kind of stuff. This cool stuff here. So you guys know how to use it now that I showed you. Let's get rid of it. I'm going to just delete this whole section, the About Us section. It's actually a pretty good addition to the page. I would actually probably use it. Um, in fact, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do it right now. Or, you know what? We'll use a different feature. Now that we're live, so you have the address feature here. So basically with the address feature is another way of saying about us, but giving them more information, um, in my opinion. A lot of people are going to speak differently on it. Uh, here's your breadcrumb. So once again, it's optional if you want to include it. If you don't want to include it, you don't have to. I'll take it out for this, this purpose. Here's some text. So you might want to type in, for example, um, drive in style. Let's say drive in style take your vehicle to the next level right maybe take out the period here and add the period here and then here's some text you have an explore more button which is optional like you can get rid of it um, fully right and just have regular text here's a sectional video so if you want to add a video to your business so um, the way to add a video guys is you go on YouTube this is just an example you don't have to necessarily do it this way um, let's say I search up Lamborghini wrap right Lamborghini wrap and let's say this is the video right here I'm gonna take the link just uh, you know disregard that ad right there take the link and just paste the link um, upload a video mp4 here let's go ahead and paste that link okay and just click on the link and we'll just leave the link there now you can add uh, you know once this will play it will show the video it will show the video so you can see here it's actually showing the video but you need to have a thumbnail so let's say I search for actually you know I don't even need to search for anything I could just go over here to select image and I could just find the picture of the Lamborghini so you see how that looks that looks very very clean um, and yeah so that's just the example of the video here is meet our teams um, we could choose to get this out of there we could choose to keep it in it doesn't really matter um, and here this store in the whole world thing we could get rid of this if we wanted to 
and it'll just say meet our teams. In my case, I would probably get rid of this meet our team section, add this this uh, this other section, and just add some images, right? So some cool images to show off the brand, maybe some long length image here. So I might go to Pexels and search for, let's say, a mechanic, right? Like a mechanic photo. And um, I need something that's long, so something that's elongated, maybe something like this. And let me go over to Wolf here and add it. So this is too big. So let me let me see here, uh, maybe another example of a photo. Or let me search car wrap. So let me search car wrap. And like I said, I need something elongated here. Maybe I'll just click on this as an example. This is typically not, you know, what I would use for my business, but you guys get the point. And we'll go back here into the page. We'll wait for it to download. And let's add it. Okay, once again, too large. So Pexels is a little bit uh, plain with us here, but let's go ahead and get this to work. Okay, it will be an elongated image. There you go, see, an elongated image. And you would want to tailor the right sizes. Uh, it's better to read their directions. Here we have image store one, so I might add the image of the Lamborghini, the wide image Lamborghini. And then I might add another wide image Lamborghini photo, just as another example here. And like I said, you would want to cut this down for it to make sense. So if I had the actual photo here, I might want to cut it down. Let's see. So uh, this ends somewhere about here. So I would end it somewhere about here. So I would cut, crop it. And I would really just drag and drop it again with the new size and we'll see what happens let me let me uh, select the right image here um, let's go back up top and select the right one and you can see here now it's it's significantly different even though it's not exact um, it's it's it looks a little bit better um, once there's you hover over it will turn like gray but you can what you could do is you can add buttons to it and you could add little texts that might say like shop this or shop that, you know, um, or meet our team or, or, you know, something special like that, that makes it makes your business a little bit different. You don't have to even have that effect on. So if you don't want anybody to click on anything, uh, you'll just remove the link feature. So they'll just be hovering without the ability to go anywhere with it. OK, uh, with a little bit of text here, the video, the video section is so fire. I, th I recommend every single human being watching this to use this. Um, very, very beneficial, very beneficial. Um, videos do so well, especially on the homepage. You know, you could take the time to explain what your brand is and what they do and, and, and what you're all about. So, and, and you guys will really, really be excited for the next series that I create. Uh, it's going to be huge, guys. Um, and I'm very, very excited for it. So, page, you know, you can add information. You can add a breadcrumb. You can choose to add it. It's up to you. Uh, you know, username, email. I would personally, you know, username, it's, I would never do username, I would type name with a little star, right, because this is not a software, so I would use user, uh, I would just type in regular name, here's a few other settings, let's see here, and I could go through this all day, but you guys get the point here, um, the find slash get, which is basically like, you know, find us, contact us, basically the same thing, frequently asked questions page um you guys will see how i'm going to use this it's it's in the next series it's going to be very very good i promise um list collection so if you want to add list collection feature uh lookbook uh one so lookbook one lookbook two are very similar i'll explain what they do so i'll select lookbook two it's basically if you want to have this little text on top uh, and you add slides so let's say you want this image Let's say you want, in your next one, you want this image. Uh, to get a better view of the lookbook, and this might not be the best product to sell for the lookbook and the benefits of the lookbook, um, but like I said, we kind of exacerbated this theme with this certain product. Um, this product is, is a very limited product, but essentially what the lookbook does is you have an image, and then you select what product you want to link it to. So in this case, right... We have, let's say, this product, right, with the lookbook, clickable lookbook. Let's go ahead and save our progress. 
and you could see here I can click on the actual product so this is like a orange chrome right so that's an orange chrome and maybe I don't want to say product version one maybe I want to say uh, or maybe I could keep it as one and keep this one as two instead so I'll go to two here and select two and I will uh, select the chrome blue so it'd be two here and you can, and when somebody clicks on this they'll see that what the actual product is so for example slide let's just do slide number three and let's get it over with um, the green chrome green right so you have one two three let's go ahead and save and then let's just preview the website so let's go back here and theme settings or not theme settings theme actions and view so Let's see here. Scroll down, scroll down, and there we go. So we can click on, you know, the product, the option, the details, the product. You guys could see here. This is essentially what a lookbook is. Best place to use this is by far with clothing, supplements, um, anything where your uh, watches is a great example. Anything where it's like a, almost like a place where you're featuring the images of the product. Uh, I could use this. I would use this lookbook for just one product. So, for example, um, you'll see here this orange. Um, we have this orange image. I might want to use a different image. So, here, and I would just feature the same product all in the same area. So, this is just another example of how I'd use this. Let's go ahead and hit change here and let's go back maybe if we had another picture of the orange lambo there you go so like three different images and you would figure out and be smart how you want to organize them maybe you would want this one here and maybe this one here right so you can choose how you want to set it up um let's go back and take a look at some other features we have lookbooks Let's see what else we didn't explain. We have product version 1, product version 2. All the products are somewhat similar. You should take a look at them. We have product cabinet, product grids. So this is what product cabinet is. When you have some kind of switch between product cabinet, we will be using this in the next series. Um, here's another way to feature products. Uh, let's see what else here. Another, Once again, another way. So just so many different versions. Here we have slideshows, so banner slideshows. When you see, guys, if it's vertical like this, then all you have to do is hit select and hit save, and it will be horizontal. It just has to configure itself, okay? So that's just something to be aware of also, all right? But like I said, the theme is fully, fully packed with millions of different settings. Um, and yes, yeah, so, you know, you just got to be smart with how you use it. Um, so like that's slideshow v1. Let's go back here to slideshow v2. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so let's load more. So we have one slideshow. Yeah, slideshow v2, right? So it's similar, just different text style. Slideshow v3, slideshow v4, slideshow v5. And by the way, you could edit the text at any time, like the fonts. You just go into the settings and do that. Here we have testimonial version. So once again, this is all vertical, but it will be horizontal once you save. Okay. And I'll just go back and just get rid of the slideshow for us. You could see here, just give it a second. It's loading. The screen bar just represents that it's loading. You could see here once again. So it's a, it's a little bit different. Um, and I'll, and I'll give examples of where we can use this. Uh, so you guys will see it all in the future, I promise. Um, but you got to stick around for the YouTube channel to actually see that information. Newsletter, pretty self-explanatory, right? You can add yourself to the newsletter, testimonials, uh, slideshows, all that we went through. Product hover is a good example also. So let me go ahead and just save here and select a collection. We can select... Um, hmm. let's go with stock limiter. Why not? Um, so this is similar product hover is when you just take your mouse, hover over the images and it will have this like zoom in slider effect to show that it has more images coming up. Uh, you could view the products, um, you know, the different features, 
just a whole bunch of different stuff on the on the images. So that's really it for this episode, guys. If you guys want to learn more, stick around for the next episode or the the next new series, which is going to be tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be uploading a new a whole new series, new episode, um, and we're going to be attacking supplements this time. So how to create a supplement store with Shopify, right? If you guys want to stick around for that, make sure you subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys.